Good evening. I'd like to call the meeting to order. We'll stand for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I get a motion for approval of the meeting agenda. Motion. motion by Mr. McCarthy, second by Mrs. Nickerson. Any discussion? All those in favor? It is unanimous. And before we move to the superintendent's report, I'd just like to ask um, everyone, we're going to take just a moment of uh, silence to remember uh, not only the victims, but the families um, from September 11th. Um, and also all those serving in the armed forces uh, today. So we'll just take a moment of silence now. Thank you. And with that, I'll turn it over to Mr. Colabufo for the superintendent's report. Fantastic. Thank you. The superintendent report for uh, September 11, 2017. I'd like to start out with some great news that we got from Baskell today, and one of the representatives is here, right there in the front row, second row. Um, I'm delighted that the, um, the students, first off, for the people who don't know what Baskell is, we have two um, child care, daycare providers before and after school in the district. Um, we have uh, YMCA that's utilized over at um, Brewerton Elementary, and then we have Baskell, B-A-S-C-O-L, Baskell, that is located and housed at M-H-E, H-M-E, and A.A. Cole. Well, we, because we were able to get back the, uh, the 30 minutes uh, at the high school and not make it optional after the 207, which has been working out and talking with Jeff King very, very well, um, and the academic advisement time at the high school, and it's been a pretty smooth start, and I credit to all, to all people at the high school and the teachers, and it's been great. Um, but as a result of gaining back that time, it affected other schedules because of the buses. And so what ended up happening was at the elementary level, um, we had to shift contractually, we had to shift the custodian schedules a half an hour. Well, the Basco parents were used to dropping their kids off at 630. So then that became for about a week, it became a dilemma that we were in. The district couldn't pay that extra half hour for the three custodians because then that would be considered a gift of public funds. We would be using uh, public money to be able to support the Basco program, which we couldn't do, whether it was, turns out to be $6 a kid for the year or 50 cents. We couldn't do that. <clears throat> so I'm delighted to take a phone call from Candace Edwards, the director of Basco. I have nothing but respect for this person um, and, and her, her business sense and just her, her love for our kids. So she told me today that in talking with the um, Basco board that they have decided that they, instead of October 1st making it 7 o'clock, that they are going to keep it at 6.30. So that's, that's how it works at, at Brewerton. They get there. Um, our custodian gets there at 6. The, our custodian is paid from Basco to do that. And it's going to now be aligned again with the whole district. So that is a huge win, and we're extremely appreciative for Basco. So I want to personally, and you came today, and I want to thank you. That's great for our families. So the next on there is um, Adam Woodmancy, a sophomore, was a medalist in his first golf match for the fall. He shot a 40 against Fulton, and then in a match against ESM Blue and Home, he shot a 41, qualifying for sectional play. Great job, Adam. The business office and district safety committee are happy to report that they were the recipients of two $500 donations from their insurance carrier, NICER, New York School Insurance Reciprocal. These were uh, requested and received in support of our campus sign project. A big thank you to NICER and a big thank you to Maureen for, for overseeing that. Um, the Millard Hawk Elementary's first week um, as a pre-K-5 building went very smoothly, I am told. Um, the staff members and parent volunteers work together to provide the students with an extremely positive first week together. They already have fifth grade student leaders helping kindergartners out uh, to the buses as they look forward to more student leadership opportunities throughout the year. I was delighted for my next point to be able to hit every single elementary and to pretty much get into every single elementary classroom with uh, Board Vice President Lori Wood. It was great to see the students and the excitement on the teachers and they're trying new things. Some are, are literally differentiating the learning environment, providing 
some stand-up desks that they've got, some, some, um, some chairs that are actually those balls but with traction on it, and then traditional seating. And it was actually really nice to be able to get in there and actually see the students being able to choose their, their learning environment. Um, just the level of excitement across the district and in the middle school and in the high school, uh, it's why we're here, it's why we do what we do. Huge shout out to all of our maintenance department, Every big shout out to everybody, but how the maintenance people are able to do what they do and still clear out all of CSI, make the changes at HME and um, M MHP, MHE now, it, it's, it's amazing, it really, really is. So I give credit to, to all of them. Very impressive this year that they pulled it off. Um, update on our website. So just, just so everybody's clear, I'm well aware that even though it's a, it's a fresh new look, it's still the same material. It's a process that's going to take probably like the first month and a half to literally get rid of all of the outdated information which we are doing on an everyday basis and then, and then putting the new stuff in there and really making it easy for families, community members, teachers, students, parents, prospective parents to navigate the site. We want it to be very easy for them to go on and find what they're looking for. That is something that we care really deeply about. Um, another huge thing I want to bring to the attention is um, we have to, our website has to be ADA compliant. And it's not right now, and most school districts aren't. We just had a local school district is being sued because, um, and it, that's in our county, because they weren't ADA compliant. Now, technically, all school districts have until January 2018, so that's something that Arena and her department, and again, it's great that we have that PR service from City. Heather Shush has really taken this on. A uh, good example is this board meeting right here that's being broadcasted, so it's not ADA compliant unless we go through the district's YouTube channel, which then provides the subtitles underneath. So before, it wasn't ADA compliant. So all of those things on our website have to literally be ADA compliant or we would face um, litigation. So with that being said, oh, and just while we're talking about social media, I, I do, I think it's great that we have this big me social media presence, and it is, you know, 2017. Um, 21st century. I think it's great that families are accessing different um, websites that are out there and whatnot. And I think that's great that there's an opportunity for people that can get together if they want to voice a concern or they want to share something positive. But I also want to remind people that in some of these, these private sites, we don't have access to. And some of the reasons for that is the fact that I'd have to have my staff either create a Facebook page just for work that they could have access to see what's on there. But really what it comes is we really want to be able to look at the things that are on our district's Facebook page. I don't want to make it where we have eight different sites that are out there and then we're spending all of our time looking at eight different sites to answer questions. I love that there are sites that people can go to and ask questions and whatnot. I just don't want people to think. I personally don't have access to the Save Central Square website. I don't have access to the parent forum. But I do have my phone, I do have my email, we do have the Facebook page that I frequently, well, it could be a Saturday at 10 o'clock, Heather Schuss will say, hey, here are some issues that are, that are bubbling up, that, you know, and I respond to them right away. I also, I've given my work cell phone to parents and said, hey, you know, call me. So I, I really want to express that, that there are things, I'm not saying don't go on those sites by any means, that's not what I'm saying, but if people want a, a, a quick response, to a concern that they have, I would say the first thing that they do is if it's in a classroom situation, give the teacher an opportunity, and then you, you, know, you go to the building principal, and then if it's elementary, you go to uh, Aaron Phillips, our executive director of elementary education. If it's secondary, you got Connie Galvan, the assistant superintendent for instructional personnel, and then you have me. So we have that chain of command, but at the same time, I'm not turning people away. I, I, welcome, I have an open door. I just don't know some of the things that are being posted on private sites and if I, if I can't see them, then I can't respond to them. And I'm, I'm always about the transparency and the ability to do that. So again, I'm not saying that those sites are bad. They're absolutely not. Um, somebody sitting in the audience right here owns one of them, and I value what he's done for the district and getting people and getting news out there. I just want people to know that we don't get to see all of the things. So if you say, I know on one of them it was like, there was a school supply question. Well, my staff, they're not on there, so they won't be able to answer the, the school supplies question. So I'm not saying they, again, can't go on those sites by any means, but please let us know um, first so then we can um, have a crack at helping you. Yeah, Tom, can I just sure just add on to that? That sometimes, too, some of the information that are on those other sites are 
the, the information is incorrect. So people are, you know, second guessing and getting all upset needlessly. If they were just on the district's website, they could call, call their principal, call the teachers, you know, and get the information out. Yeah, and, and again, if some parents want to know, hey, this is a concern, they want to see if it's a concern with other parents, I value that. I value the communication. I absolutely do. But if it comes down to they actually think that we're on there, they could see that and go, oh, that's where that's not going to be able to happen. So I'm not saying they shouldn't use those sites, but just also let us know and then we'll solve the problems, 100%. Um, yep. So the next is band news. We, co we competed and took second place out of four in the field band class. We were .15 behind last year's class champion, New Hartford, and 1.4 above ESM. <laughs> it's 50 cents. So uh, in this very competitive class, I was there. It was fantastic. Uh, very excited. I videotaped it, but then I realized I can't share it because then that would be a copyright violation, and I realized you cannot do that. So I deleted it. But it was awesome. I showed my wife when I got home. Hopefully I'm allowed to do that. Uh, football. The football started out 2-0 and with another excellent victory this past Friday. It was very exciting. Um, this Friday is homecoming. Please come out and support the team. It's just a lot of excitement going on right now, and I think that's fantastic. Just a reminder, if anyone uh, wants to tune in, myself and students um, and staff members will be um, on this Friday's Channel 9 Spotlight called Friday Morning Lights. It's going to be really exciting. I first told the board uh, incorrectly, uh, and one student as well, our student board president, but I was able to get a hold of her before the next morning that she came in at 5 o'clock. So that is this Friday. It's going to be exciting, so tune in. It will be aired in the morning. Thus concludes my superintendent report. May I, I have one question and one comment. Uh, first of all, oh, she left. I don't have a comment for basketball, but that was a great decision that I saw last night at about 1030, so thank you. And then a question, uh, a clarification. How much work is it to get a website ADA compliant? And I'm not being facetious. I'm just trying to understand. I've never heard that term with all due respect. Um, and I, I understand subtitles, but just in... in 25 seconds or less, is, can you just give us a gist of what that means? Yeah. I'm not sure I know the full extent of that, but all video must be captioned. Pictures need to be described. Yeah. Um, and then the information. So they can't read it there, they have to be able to build something where it might be bigger fun, uh, darker things, things like that. And this is state of federal. Is that state or federal? federal? Okay, thank you. Thank you for your report, Mr. Colavufo. Uh, I would like to read the motion to move into executive session, but first I want to uh, explain the reason, because I, I understand people come to the meeting and then it, if I were not on the board and I came to a meeting and then had to sit here while we go into executive session, we have to do it at this time for a couple different reasons. It affects votes that happen later in the meeting. And quite frankly, there is also a financial repercussion for uh, having our legal representation wait here while we conduct other business. So we are being good stewards of your money. With that being said, uh, I would make a motion that the Central Square Central School District Board of Education hereby move into executive session to discuss the performance and evaluation of a particular teacher, to discuss the Central Square Support Personnel Association tentative agreement, and to discuss two grievances with no action to follow. Can I have a second? I will second. Mr. McCarthy, any discussion? There being none, all in favor? It is unanimous. We will return.